Hello, Kauai. This is your County of Kauai briefing for Monday, June 28th. The State Department of Health reports that statewide, 57% of residents have been fully vaccinated with 63% initiating a vaccine. Based on our vaccination rate effective July 8th, Kauai will move to Tier 5. In Tier 5, social gatherings will be expanded to 25 people indoors and 75 people outdoors. Restaurants may increase capacity to 75% with maximum group sizes of 25 indoors and 75 outdoors. To view the new Koi tier chart, please visit koi.gov forward slash COVID-19. We'll continue to keep the public updated as we move closer to this next milestone. Today, we have no new cases to report. No one is hospitalized. We have 14 active cases and 14 individuals are in quarantine. Our cumulative case count is 401, including 358 confirmed locally, 3 probable, and 40 tested out of state, off island, but reported after their arrival to Kauai. Masks are no longer required outdoors, but they are still required indoors and continue to be recommended for larger, crowded outdoor gatherings. I have asked Lauren Guest, the Public Health Preparedness Planner, with the Kauai District Health Office to review recent cases on our island. Thank you, Mayor Kawakami. Over the last two months, we have announced 85 total cases, including confirmed, probable, and those diagnosed off-island. Of those, 27 were travel-related, and the remaining were the results of community transmission. Recently, the Department of Health has been investigating two active clusters, one associated with a place of worship and the other with a restaurant. Identifying the exact location of a cluster is always a last resort for the Department of Health. We do so when it is the only way we can notify those who may have been exposed of their risk. For example, when people may have been exposed over multiple days at one location and there is no record of who was there. For our current clusters, we did not have to identify the locations since we were able to work with both sites to notify everyone at risk. For our restaurant cluster, this only involves staff, not patrons, since the cases were only among staff who do not have contact with customers. When we investigate clusters, we report on both primary and secondary cases. Primary cases are those who became infected at a specific location or event. Secondary cases are those who did not attend that event, but whose infection can be traced back to it. For example, they had contact with a case at another event or are household members of people who had primary or secondary exposure. The two clusters under investigation include a place of worship where there were 11 primary cases and no secondary cases. All cases found in association with this cluster attended the place of worship on a single date. There has been no additional spread to other church members or locations. All cases were in unvaccinated individuals. The second cluster is within a restaurant with five primary cases and 12 secondary cases. There was significant spread in this cluster amongst household members of the primary cases. Specimens have been sent to the state laboratory on Oahu to determine whether this high rate of spread might be the result of a variant. The majority of our recent cases have been in people who were already in quarantine as close contacts. This means that our case investigation and contact tracing efforts are effective and our quarantine measures are limiting further spread. Most of the restaurant cluster cases were in unvaccinated individuals. However, a few were fully vaccinated and have experienced mild disease or asymptomatic infections. As you might have heard, the Department of Health recently announced that the Delta variant has been found on all islands. The Delta variant is concerning because of high transmissibility and preliminary evidence of more severe disease. Fortunately, vaccines provide excellent protection from Delta, especially protection from severe disease. Now that the Delta variant has been detected on Kauai, it is more important than ever that residents who have not yet been vaccinated do so as soon as possible. The Delta virus spreads rapidly in unvaccinated populations, so time is critical. Every vaccinated person makes a difference. If you haven't been vaccinated yet, please consider doing it to protect someone you care about. If you have questions, you can talk to your healthcare provider or even your friends and family. Ask them how they made the decision to be vaccinated. It may help you make your decision as well. Mahalo, Lauren. Governor Ige recently announced updates to the state's safe travels program. Effective July 8th, individuals vaccinated anywhere in the United States will be able to bypass the travel quarantine with proof of vaccination through the state's safe travels program. As a reminder, the inter-island travel quarantine has been lifted. Inter-island travelers are no longer required to complete a safe travels profile to travel between islands. 
For more information on the state's safe travels program, visit hawaiicovid19.com forward slash travel. If you have recently returned from travel or have been around travelers, please get a free COVID-19 test at the convention hall Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. No appointment needed. Please do not show up to the convention hall clinic if you have symptoms and instead call your health care provider. All Kauai residents aged 12 and older are eligible to receive a vaccine. Vaccines are available island-wide. For more information, hours, and to make a confirmed appointment, please visit kauai.gov forward slash vaccine. Health officials are also planning several upcoming pop-up vaccine clinics in the coming weeks for those 18 and older. Clinics are scheduled Saturday, July 3rd at Kauai Christian Fellowship in Poipu, Saturday, July 10th at Kekaha Neighborhood Center and Laukona Park in Hanama'ulu. The pop-up clinics are sponsored by Ho'ola Lahui Community Health Clinic in partnership with Malamapono Health Services, the Kauai District Health Office, and the County of Kauai. To register, please call the Ho'ola Lahui hotline at 808-938-0938. We hope to expand our vaccination with new mobile vaccination and testing vans, and we're now looking for individuals interested in staffing the vans. We are looking for trained vaccinators, specimen collectors, lab workers, and drivers. Interested candidates may send their resumes to cynthia.chiang at doh.hawaii.gov. Once again, for any information on vaccination locations, including pop-up and mobile clinic sites, visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. We will not be producing this video on Monday, July 5th, in celebration of Independence Day. Please be safe and observe precautions over the long weekend. Please continue to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 on our island. Wear your masks, when indoors, wash your hands, keep your distance, avoid large gatherings, and of course, consider getting a vaccine. Mahalo for helping to keep Koi safe. And remember, I got vaccinated. I got vaccinated. Aloha. <laughs>